Yo, what's going on, y'all, man? It's your boy DC Young Fly, you dig? This is me. I'm eating pizza right now. You hear me? You seen us talking about going back on the road on social media. But it's finally here. Bro, it's time? It's finally here. Yeah. Told y'all. We better go back on the road. Tell them what we're going to do. Man, we're going to Bliss. You hear me? Mississippi. Yeah, we're going to your yeah. Charleston. Maybe more, but that's all we telling y'all for right now. What's the date? Me? What's the date, man? I think the last is July 24th. You hear me? <laughs> Seattle on October the first. <laughs> the Sacramento on October the second. Okay. I mean, you know what? It's a thing we got from the neighbors. I'm just so happy to be back. So we're going to Biloxi, Seattle, Wells, Charleston. Okay. We may do that on the Friday. Mm-hmm. We may do that on the Friday. The microphone came off again. Listen, we just gonna do it like this. That's why we gotta get back on the road, bro. Mm-hmm. The microphone won't stick. We can't even we can't even buy tape. That's why we still in the trap and we can't buy tape. But you always tan up the microphone. You think Domino's gonna sponsor this? They should. You dig what I'm saying? I used now, to work at Domino's. Bro. You bullshit. For real. What happened? I grew up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Shout out to Domino that's, you know what I'm saying, giving black boys, you know what I'm saying, the job. Yeah, somewhere you can prosper. Real talk. You know where to find all them dates while we eating Domino? At the, on the website. Plus, new shows go to 85 Stop Shoot at that go. Yeah, I feel like if you go to the Instagram or click the link or something, it'll probably take you where the tickets at. I think so too, because people are always be like, how we find the tickets? We just told your ass. Just Google 85 Stop Show tickets. Just listen. Ain't nobody out there selling no fake tea. Somebody was at one point. I seen them. They had, they had my eye f- up on the fly. I'm like, you really bought that? I'm like, bought flow seats too. I'm like, whoever this is, he probably gonna show up, but it ain't me. I tell you that. I'm telling you. you been niggas is wild. Man, niggas is out here thugging with it. I'll be ready in a few minutes, y'all. Niggas Just waiting on, my, on Craig to give me this blunt. What is it? I'm in my bag trying to get one. I am. Quit touching shit. Right now. Ah! I'm deep in my bag. I'm Black talking about I'm, like, I'm up to the elbow part. OK. You jumped in that motherfucker with both feet. Man, I'm trying to get to that shoulder, shoulder though. Hey, by the end of the year? Shit, by the beginning of the summer. Oh, oh. oh I ain't playing. Okay. I ain't fuck okay. that. Okay. I don't Big got time bag like summer. that. Okay. Yeah, because this shit's so day to day. It could be at any moment now. Right. You know, I just be throwing shit, be pitching. Look, something gonna, gonna stick. Bounce. Exactly. Something about to stick. So, I always tell people them blessings gonna spin the block. Oh my lord. <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> to me. They always be worried about the bad karma, but they don't never say nothing about the good ones. I, I tell There's people some all good the time. karma out there, too. Mm-hmm. That's why I stay trying to, you know, put my hands on everything. Two Chainz said something a long time ago. He said, grimy. He said it was a speech he was doing, grinding, grinding and timing. He was like, just grind, 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 don't worry. Your grind gonna catch up with the time. I know, I hope so. He said it's grinding. And you know, that nigga been name shit. after name, two chains, player circle, uh, titty boy. I call him titty two necklace. Titty two necklace. Titty two necklace, like two necklaces behind between two titties. Cause it's so two like, chains, man, you know, like he titty boy. <laughs> And then he said he titty two necklaces. I was like, that's the coldest shit you done ever said. Titty two necklaces. I really wish my name was Titty Boy. I if you had another name, what would it be? Titty if you had to rebrand, rebrand. Like if I had to pick like a Hollywood name? Nah, like a, okay, you funny, but then like, say you was funny like back in the day, Red Fox funny, and then you kind of came back out, but you maybe like colored your hair and got a little, you just look younger now. What would your name be? Salvador Torricio. <laughs> That's how niggas will introduce you on the stage? Salvador Torricio. Or Dick Wolf. Dick Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So I, that's some of my favorite names is Dick Wolf. Uh-huh. Emilio Estevez. Uh-huh. Um, Mr. Balducci. Mr. Balducci. I just want to be important as fuck and somebody come out and say, Mr. Balducci was you now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. You know, I came to see y'all at um, Fox. At the Fox? Mm-hmm. I didn't. Craig, what the hell you do to this blunt? Y'all did good. Y'all did great. Craig told this blunt all the fuck up. Craig, all these new rolling trays, you gonna make me roll a blunt. 
You are fired as the blunt. I'm so proud of y'all. Two minutes, everyone. Two minutes. Can't okay. smoke this ugly blunt on camera, Craig. <laughs> Since you smoke a lot, have you ever like did the mask stuff? You know, niggas have a mask. Yeah, the mask when you like get mask. super That's for young high. young motherfuckers who just start smoking. <laughs> so you never did like the bongs and the mask. I don't the... smoke them bitches. I do not smoke no bong. <laughs> okay. That is child abuse to your lungs. <laughs> I'm talking about one hit. I be high all day. I know motherfuckers who wake up hitting the bong with Patron in it and ice. Oh shit. All types of shit. I don't fuck with it. That Dabs. is. Seen the bomb with your, your Patron? Motherfucker had uh, Patron. What's the other shit? Everclear. Oh. Oh, that, yeah. They trying to die twice. Mm. Yeah. Oh, is this the countdown to bring us on the show? Yeah, we working. No, that's not the count. That's just the clock that we use to keep time. But we got uh... all the time in the world. Still okay. two minutes. I got my other blunt. Okay, good to know. You need anything? I'll probably get another water. Thank you. No, we got a fridge full of water right here. Yeah, we got water. I oh, appreciate it. Yours ain't cold? No, no, I'm going to take it out. I don't like cold water. You want a Capri Sun? Look now, Los. I can't be on the fucking camera. Do you see my lips? <laughs> they look beautiful. <laughs> They're gonna be like, at minute, go to minute 215. They're gonna be like, go to minute. Watch Wanda put that straw in her mouth. they gonna do that anyway. Go to minute 215. I'm telling you now. <laughs> they fucking with it. <laughs> What's up, OnlyFans, bro? Hey, get the fuck out the camera. <laughs> That's what they're gonna be like, oh my God. They're be like, look, 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 look. Yeah. It's gonna be a GIF. You know them aunties on Facebook didn't know you was acting. They had the, they had the Wonder picture <laughs> and the Instagram picture. Like, she doing so good. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the ones who people feel like I went, someone posted um, Rashida from Insecure and then Wanda from Snowfall, and they was like, what happened? <laughs> she was a lawyer and now she, like, yeah, don't aunts, they don't, they don't be knowing. I done posted a couple and people be like, oh my God. It's one um one guy, he started to save Wanda. Like, each time he do something, he just, thank he you. He just wanted to give you that. <laughs> that's, that's bad. Thank you. He always posted thirst traps. Everybody on the squad that I followed him. <laughs> <laughs> one of them, okay. Got it. You Man. single. Dad ain't had a shirt on since okay. November. As <laughs> <laughs> soon as we said his name on camera, that nigga had a thousand shots. <laughs> like, Dad, you get your good bags on. <laughs> him, him and Roy. <laughs> Goddamn, Roy put a flower behind his ear. I was like, nigga, you did this on purpose. You got both nipples in the picture, Roy. <laughs> Your turn, so both nipples. Uh, uh, Jay uh, Wynn be doing them I Am Pretty photo shoots. <laughs> Go to my store if you want to see what I did. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga be close as fuck to the camera. These bitches gonna see these. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know why they trying. Craig get all the hoes. Hoes love oh, Craig. Man. That nigga posts a picture with crumbs on his lip. And like, oh. <laughs> 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 hey, Joe changed his Instagram every time I say it on camera. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, hit smoking Joe. That bitch be like, Joe from the smoke. <laughs> Goddamn cat on the 85 South Show page arguing with seeing me. These bitch ass niggas. I'm like, cat, cat, cat. You can't get political on the brand page. <laughs> cat be doing it. Cat be doing everything. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Y'all funny. 
All right, let's get some, let's get some motherfucking order in the court. All right. J-O-N, how you feeling today? Not a man of many words. <laughs> I, I felt like it wasn't an, I felt like that answer was not enough for you. He was waiting on more. It's plenty for me. You it's the people who watch the show. They be like, man, you don't never let J.O. say nothing. They act like when the cameras is off, I'd be like, you better not say shit. <laughs> I make sure that nigga is mic'd every time we get on this goddamn show. He don't want to say nothing. You've always known his name is J.O.N.? No, it was John at first. Oh, okay. <laughs> then he changed it. Okay. Because I kept like, hey, John, he, was, he would not answer me. He so he's J.O.N., formerly known as John. Yeah, but okay. if you call him John. Yeah, he told me it was. Nothing. Okay. <laughs> he is committed to that. Okay. I saw his own brother call him John once, and he kept walking. <laughs> <laughs> what if you did that? Just break your name down. No, it's K A R L O U S. <laughs> Carlos? No. K A R L O U S. <laughs> it's too long. Huh? <laughs> mm. What's your What's your mama name? You? Okay. <laughs> I don't talk to the nigga. He be, his voice be true. He be trying to sound too sexy. Oh. I hate this nigga. Hey, look, you got some weed? No, man. No. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking phone sex operator voice ass nigga. Mm -hmm. That's why they all hate me. I be talking about all these niggas right in front of me. They love it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. These gays stay at me. <laughs> you over there checking if we are following you? Dad, we don't want to see your fucking chest. <laughs> Look, Dad, we pull this phone out. <laughs> I'm going to go and tell you, they all unfollowed you, Dad. All the viewers will follow you. No, they won't. They don't know how to spell Thad. <laughs> <laughs> no, they don't, bro. I'm telling you. All right, Kat. What's Gail Bean sound like over there? Oh, thank you. She sounds beautiful. Like it. All right, close your eyes. Say something, Gail. Something. Oh. So <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Y'all ready to get this shit started? All right, welcome back to the 85 South Show. Woo! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Stop everything, man. Stop everything. We get some very important people in here sometimes. Now, check this out. Mm -hmm. We got one of my favorite new actresses. In the building, she over there killing shit, over there on Snowfall and all kinds of various other projects. You might see her pop up on Insecure or something. She is just a dope ass black woman doing her thing. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I believe it's Chico Bean cousin. Yo, she's <laughs> a little Bean. I believe you're a Chico Bean. Then we do. Are you Chico's cousin? I'm not. That's the first I'm question. Not. He, he. You sure? It ain't a lot of beans. You know what? Bean is not my last name. Come on now. But see, I, I didn't want to get people to legal because then I ain't want them to be digging. Well, so, damn. Yeah. Fuck. We gonna stick. We gonna roll with Bean. Wait, is that his last name? Yeah. That's his real one. Oh. Is Chico his real first name? Nope. Okay. Y'all might be related. You see how y'all did that? Yeah, yeah. All right, man. Okay. <laughs> What's been going on, man? Man, ain't shit. First of all, it's good to see you. You look amazing and great and all Thank those. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Doing your thing and you're killing it and you, and you act great as fuck and super talented. I, I mean, look, I'm just trying to stack and stay out of the way. You doing a damn Ugh, good job, I'm man. You're on America's favorite show right now. Oh, thank you, America. Yeah, like okay. the whole, I'm the whole, America. the Black whole and cast, white? the whole America. Oh, yeah. I can't speak for the white people because I don't know them like that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I mean, I know a few of them. The ones I know are watching. Okay. Okay. And the ones that haven't seen it, they're like, I, I didn't know. I'll check it out. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> I don't know none of the ones who just like, nope. Okay, I take that. I take yeah. that. I appreciate that. Man, just give me the whole rundown. How did how did we get here? Uh well, um you. First Let me just all. say congratulations on no motherfucker, this is fine. Come on, man. <laughs> this is fine. Come I on, walked man. in and I was like, oh, you know, then they 
told me, you know, we, we're fans, but we're just being, you know, nice and everything. And I wanted to be like, oh my fucking God, this nigga that came up. But <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, oh, this is so nice. I don't know we was, they but, don't know about um, the grind we was out yeah. here putting down. Way before all the lights and cameras Listen, and action. I've seen you grind. Like, yeah. back when I was in school, you was really getting it, like, in the slave dungeons. Come on. Like, really oh, ch chopping bricks. Like, this is Digging beautiful. <laughs> this is beautiful. Thank like, just you, to see you, you on, on your whole journey. So, you know, when we first met, it was Cloud9. Come on. Shout out to Rose Rod. He the yep. people connector. Yep. Um, and I just used to come up there and try to get any gems that I could. So just witnessing you guys grinding day in, day out, and watching all the seeds that y'all planted come to fruition has been inspiring. Mm. And I feel like all the things that I've learned here, you know, I'm from here, from Stone Mountain. Come on now. Um, really helped me when I went to L.A. and was grinding and, yeah. and being able to see, like, oh, it takes time, but it's coming. You yeah. know, just don't give up. Stay down and come up. And <clears throat> then... You know, one day I see you on Wildin' Out. One day. And I said, motherfucking Carlos ass done yeah. got him a gig. Had to. Steady gig. Come on. So, I mean, I just, I went out there. It was audition after audition, a million no's. Yeah. I remember every single one. Um, mm -hmm. But. I heard a rumor. What? Tell me. I heard you was this close to being the pine saw lady. <laughs> Listen. I know people. Listen. Your name came up. It depends on how much you're gonna pay. Do you remember the Pine Saw Lady? I remember the Pine Saw Lady. She was getting bread. It would've either been her or I would've gladly been the Popeye's lady. No. No. Yes. No. Yes. Fuck no. Why not? Hell no. She making monies. <laughs> she, to me, she on the same level as Flo. Progressive. <laughs> she. Who don't eat at Popeyes? And they came out with the chicken sandwich? Rebranding. Mm. All right. Mm. Just, see, because Burger King tried it with Mary J. Blood. <laughs> I've never seen that. And that what? was because exactly, it was a fiasco. <laughs> I never seen that. Yeah, she was singing about the chicken sandwich or everything. <laughs> well, who say I can't sing? Yeah, well, I'm just saying, I never said you couldn't. I'm just what saying. What would I do with pine sauce? You would take it to another level. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. So what was that grind like in L.A.? Um, <clears throat> Especially being from the South. And that's a very strange place. You know, they you... look down. Well, I will say this. Everybody, L.A. is a place where <clears throat> it's a it's an air of, like, who are you and what do you do? And why do we give a fuck? Right. So like, you better not be doing what I'm doing. It's just a hint of that in there, too. Okay. Like, oh, when you leaving, nigga. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I thought you were saying, I better not be doing what you doing to nah, get where you going. Yeah, you I was like, like what you doing? They don't like when you do what they do out there. They yeah, like, yeah, it's not a leave. collaborative, supportive, um, it, and going there is definitely like starting from all over from the scratch, from bottom. Like, right. if you did a lot to them, it's like you've done nothing. Because you didn't do it there. Exactly. Excuse me. So... Going there, um, like I said, it, I didn't know anybody, so it wasn't like I was plugged in and had nobody to ask or call. I was literally like, okay, God, I'm going to need you to be my agent, my manager, my publicist, and get me in the door somewhere. Right. So I was, like, on Actors Access, on L.A. Casting, like, looking up auditions online, like, really trying to get my foot in a door. Right. Um, I ended up submitting to a boutique agency out here because as soon as I moved there I had just got my agent like right before I moved my first, very first agent here and then I moved and she was like oh you're in LA I'm gonna have to drop you stupid so I was like damn <clears throat> she didn't She's... even ask my situation like you didn't know if I could fly back and forth self tapes and I asked her and she was just like nah so I said okay cool well you know thank you for she your time she wasn't a good agent she wasn't it's cool though um, then I told my homeboy, I was like, damn, I don't know what to do. That was my first agent. Um, like, I'm really lost. I don't know what to do. He was like, just submit to some agencies in the Southeast. Submitted to one, and this lady called me. She talked to me on the phone for like an hour. She was like, okay, I'm going to sign you. And I think that year she sent me four auditions. And I tell people all the time, it's not quantity, it's quality. She sent me four. I booked one, 
and that went to Sundance Film Festival, and that brought like so, it garnered so much attention and exposure. I got Next Generation Ten Breakout Actors. I got um, like a bunch of stuff. Oh, thank you. That's what we do. Thank man. you. We okay. celebrate that type of shit. Okay. Yeah. I, I like that. Well, don't wait till some shit happens to tell you you're great. We'll tell you right then. Thank you. Oh, okay. All of y'all, I hope y'all have a nice life. Yeah, we yeah. fuck with you over there. Um, so then, like, other agencies and management companies were more so knocking at my door. I decided to, you know, stay loyal and wait. I was like, I want to give my agent a chance, because she got me this. She was black. She was very educated. And... She ain't black no more? <laughs> she is black. You are right. You're right. Should be happening. <laughs> What's the uh, baseball guy? <laughs> Sammy Sosa. Yeah. Um, he did that shit on purpose, though. <laughs> that didn't shit happen to him. Okay, <laughs> but Michael Jackson did not do it on purpose. No. Okay, that's what I thought. No. Okay. okay. You sensitive? I'm just saying. <laughs> Michael Jackson is a fucking legend. Bro. Okay. <laughs> he, I mean, I'm sorry. And the thing is, like. <laughs> I, feel like I, I got really this hurt conspiracy you. theory that we we really don't even know what he looked like because we never got to see him. Cause like when we saw him, he was already Michael Jackson. Like how much of that shit was just like we seeing him is like ah, uh -huh. how much of that shit was really there? <clears throat> you have. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Cause I was following you, but then I would, I got lost in. But I'm saying, like, we didn't never see this nigga. Like, man, that's Michael Jackson. We saw this nigga as Michael Jackson. Okay. So it's like, okay. It was some extra hype on that shit <laughs> that we saw as fans that wasn't really there. You know what I'm saying? Uh huh. That's all I'm saying. Who? Okay. So then, who of this generation is like Michael Jackson level? Like, we only seen them as. Beyonce. We see how much she was Destiny Child, Beyonce. That's Michael Jackson, Jackson 5. <laughs> okay. Started out with five members. <laughs> okay. Maybe six. Okay, he might be right. And she was what? Talented Teenage? as hell, yeah. exactly. Yeah. But how long has she been doing this since she was Michael Jackson age? You seen the old tapes, the clips in the uh -huh. documentaries yeah. and shit. Okay, you right. Yeah. Um, she was de like definitely born to do this. <laughs> Let me see. Is she the only one? Yeah. She make movies? Who else? <laughs> I'm just saying, she make movies and cartoons and can't nobody... She's talented. Stupid talented. She's extremely talented. You ass. I, I would not say actor or voiceover, <laughs> but can get on that stage. I'm saying... As a whole. Now, I didn't see Lion King. I, but I did see, um, what was it? Austin Powers? Killed it. She killed it. She killed the whole thing. She was not series. in Foxy Brown, was she? Oh, okay. I was like, wait a minute. You are? No. <laughs> I should be? I'm just saying, you, I feel like it. <laughs> okay. Um, so, yeah, I mean, shit, that's basically the just. Well, I got yeah. an agent. That shit kicked off, and then um, I gave her about a year, and things was kind of like slow motion. I felt like we had, she had the momentum from Sundance, and sh I didn't feel like she delivered. Right. So then I was like, you know, business move. I love you. You've been great. I got to take my talents elsewhere. Got with my agent that I'm with now, Innovative Artists, my management company. Oh, thank you. I bet, I bet she's a great agent. You it's that? like you, you go over there and they listen and they got all these different departments and people, oh, they yeah. know you when you go over there. And everybody, and everybody and is working. Oh my God, I love Fawn. I just love her. <laughs> no, y'all, he for real. Like Fawn is a real person. Yes. I know she is the money person. Yeah. If it's anything that's not right, you I call, I got Fawn ass on speed dial. Like, yeah. She, you're right, she, you know. Fawn called me before I call. I know you're gonna call. <laughs> We're working on it. Now listen, because you remember um, Straight Outta Compton? Yeah. That scene with Ice Cube when he went in there? <laughs> listen, I was gonna have one in a moment. So now that they has us on speed dial. Right. Like, but no, it I love Fawn. Yeah. I love Innovative. Yeah. Um, and I'm with Anonymous Content. And when I say they fucking work their ass off. Right. They grind. Like, people, I know a lot of people that complain about their reps, and they, they come to me, but I'm like, 
I'm I'm really happy. Like right, right, right. they they making sure I'm working, and they like you said they listen. I yeah. say hey, this is I'm open to audition for everything, but I'm not going to take everything. But I feel like auditioning is exposure, right. and exposure leads to expansion. So I can get th this casting director maybe casting for something else in the future. You know, um, they may know someone else who they could recommend me to, but. Yeah, they, they put me out there. Man, so what's the whole overall experience been like, you know? Going from the audition hustle, mm -hmm. waiting on a lot of shit to happen, you know, mm -hmm. being in that grind, and now it's like, shit, you, you don't have time to do it. <sighs> and these jobs are calling you like, I can't, I can't. From looking for the work to turning down the work. That's Ooh. what I'm saying. So it's still not so, sur it's still surreal to me. Yeah. Like. The show I'm working on now was a straight offer, which is fucking mind blowing. Don't it's you love those? Oh, it's so mind Fuck blowing. All that <laughs> Come back here for an it's audition. So what you doing Tuesday? Did you get the contract? Fuck yes. All that. yes. They know yes. what you're capable of. And th this is why I say the blessings gonna spin the block because the show I auditioned for them in 2017, 2017, 2018. Yeah. Like five, I went in five times. Damn. Same role. And it was like, okay, now it's a callback. Now it's a director session. Now it's this. And the, but that's the industry. That's the grind. That's the, and in the beginning, I mean, when that happened, the cat, the casting loved me, creator loved me. I almost said the network. The network was like, nah. See, that's the one thing Which that is the okay. pandemic is going to change, though. Ain't nobody got time for no five fucking callbacks, man. Oh, yeah. You hear what I'm saying? Get to the point. Nah. Stop playing with these black actors and actresses, mm. man. They ain't, they ain't calling people phone for nothing and wasting people's time. Well, we, we got that other guy. He's, he's coming up to the <laughs> phone. Come on, Look, man. You want to or not? Come um, on now. So, yeah, that's a beautiful thing. Like, it came back around. And when yeah. it came back around, they was like, hey, we want you. Yeah. Um, so what's your schedule like? And I was like, I don't know what Snowfall doing, but we'll see. Man, tell me about just Snowfall, out. man. Did you ever think that this shit would get to, to this level? Listen. I'm talking about, it's a, it's a blockbuster. Snowfall been on my radar since 2015? 2015. But see, that's the speaking thing to exist. You say you're trying to get back there. Like, I spoke that shit into existence. So you say you're trying to jump off with it before summer. It can happen. Oh, yeah. I already know. Like, Snowfall, I, it was on the radar, <clears> and I sent it to my reps like, hey, I'm very proactive. And they cool with that. I'd be like, hey, check on this. I heard about this. What's going on with this? Is it a role in there for me um, on this project? All right, right. Because I feel like, shit, we all need to be working. So if I hear something, I'm going to tell y'all. If y'all hear something, tell me. I, I tell them all the time, look, send me scripts. If you got clients that have written a script and they're looking for it, send it to me. If you hear about a book adaptation, send it to me so I can jump ahead of it. I could already read the book. Um, but I'd been telling them about Snowfall, and then um, they were like, oh, we checked it. There weren't any roles big enough in it for you. And I was like, oh, fuck. They were like, uh, it was older roles, it's already cast. Then there was a recasting, because that was when it was like D. Ray, Lauren, um, a couple of people. And then there was a recast of the pilot. So I was like, hey, they're recasting now. Is there a role now that's big enough for me that you feel um, that's not cast yet? They were like, no, but we'll keep an eye out. And when I first moved to LA, I was like, I can't leave, because I don't want to miss nothing. Like, right. if an audition come, I'll, I need to be here. Finally, I was like, you know what, it's my birthday. Um, some friends were shooting a web series, so I went out to Chicago. Soon as I fucking get to Chicago, I get an email for an audition for Snowfall season two. I said, what the fuck? The one time I say, I'm gonna just go. You know what I'm saying? Get your ass back. I said, okay, um, I'm out of town for my birthday. Can I, re can I, is there any way we could reschedule it? They was like, no, but they will take a tape. I said, okay. Mm. So I'm filming all day. Um, the DP was like, oh, I'll put you on tape for your audition. It was a long ass day though. So afterwards he was like, can we do it tomorrow? I was like, nah, I'm ready, I'm ready. So the director was like, I'll tape you. Super cool. My cast member was like, I'll read with you. So it was after a long, when I say long, long day, more than 12 hours, it was like, I think we was doing 16, 18 hour days on that. Shit. Yeah, 
And they was like, well, we'll tape you. So we go in one of the um, rooms in the office. They put me on tape. I send it. And then I got an email back. And my reps were like, casting loves you. They want to know when you'll be back. Oh, now it's when I'm going to be back now. Yeah, that's the game. So I was like, oh, OK, I'll be back this day. So it was like, OK, cool. They want you to come in person for a chemistry test. Um, Did you study for the chemistry test? <laughs> Was it hard? Did you know the formulas? I'm just fucking with y'all, stupid. <laughs> stupid ass little dumb. Um, okay, I'm gonna tell you what happened. So I left Chicago, came home real quick, was kicking in with my brother. Then. That's when D-Ray, his thing came out, his stand-up on Netflix. Netflix. Okay. I watched it with my brother, and I believe in omens. So I watched it with my brother. I was like, ha this is funny. Went back to LA. It was a sofa like this and a sofa, like a, a single individual chair right there. I get to the, um, to the t chemistry test. He's sitting right there. I was like, I didn't know him, had never met him. I was like, what the fuck? I text my brother, I was like, I'm about to book this shit, cause D right here, we just watched this nigga stand up. I was like, it's, so then I, I was like, comfortable. Uh, the guy Shut who plays Leon right Cunt. Now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, fuck <laughs> shit. It's crazy, because D-Ray, when we was in Memphis, he was there, and he fucking was on this shit. Oh, shit! Crazy. He's good people. I yeah. Um, so, yeah, Isaiah came. He played Leon. Um, he came. We talked a little bit. I was like, oh, you know, we used to be in the same class, but not in the same class. Like, we both took acting here, but at different times. We okay. were at the same school. Um, so we had never met. And I was like, oh, I heard about you. He was like, I heard about you. Um, and it was just cool. I think that kind of just like broke the ice. So then when we got in the room, there was chemistry instead of it kind of being a little awkward and weird. And that shit hit. That shit it was hit. Thir Listen, we walked in there. It was, the room was so small and it was like 13 people in the room. So I was like, where are we supposed to act at? But I think I had maybe that chair to the end of this table. And I was like, we finna, even if we in their face, we're going to give it to them. Bro. Bro. Well, I'm glad that shit happened, man, because mm -hmm. the shit you bring to the character. Thank you. Thank you. Like, the timing is crazy, Thank man. You. And Wanda as a character is just so funny. She has came a long way. You feel me? Like, I, I thought, when I booked that, I was like, oh, I'm going to be so L.A. I'm going to have the nails. Because the, the description said, round the way, girl. So I was like, man, I was so excited. Like, oh, I'm about to kill it. And then she got on drugs, and I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I was like, that bitch smoking crack? She on the glass? I was like, wait a minute. I was like, oh. Shit. Okay. It's like, that's it. Shit, it's real. But yeah, I was like, okay, y'all keeping it real, real. Yeah, so, you, you digging deep, man, because yeah. that shit is so far from the person you are. And it's like. Thank you. Where you get the inspiration from? Family. For real? Yeah. Man. Yeah. I got to pay. I'm going to be honest, I had some really great family members that was on crack. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm serious, though. Like, that just... Like, black people, they know. White people be like, oh, my God. Really? Yeah, we need to and do I'm like, a no, documentary like, for real. about all that crack. Like, they yeah, were really members. on crack. But they was... I love them. But I only... What I do love about Wanda, I'm young enough to where... I never seen a crackhead pre-crack. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I don't know. So, uh, older people, they seen folks before they got on crack. But when I was born, people who was gonna do crack was already doing it. So um, it was good to like see, I feel like with Wanda, exactly how that happened, exactly how I experienced it, I'm sorry, I mean, exactly as I experienced it, Gail, as a person, <laughs> is how motherfuckers who did crack experienced it. Like they didn't know right. they was gonna be cracked out. They was like, shit, we partying, we vibing. I'm gonna hit this little dope, I'm gonna hit this crack, and then, we gonna go fuck, and next thing you know, they got a crack baby. So, um, yeah, that was a lot of fun, though. <laughs> I bet it was. It's a lot of fun. Man, I'm coming. I'm coming for the Hollywood Hills one day. Come on. We need you here. Right. But we need you to come on, like, all the way in. Come all the way Cause in? Because it needs a lot more. Hollywood needs more people who are just, like, cool and not so fucking full of themselves in their head and so... Damn, I ain't... 
Um, I'm just bullshit. Just, like, they cool. They cool to laugh. They, you know what I'm saying? It's that everything being so serious and so sensitive and so, like... Ain't that the game? Though? In their head. That's the whole, that's Is the it? whole everywhere. Is it? Yes. Everywhere, like, where? The world. It's like the world is looking for some shit to be sensitive about. Well, I must not fucking live. I must live under a rock. Well, you better get your ass from under there. I like it. Because once they find out where you live, they, <laughs> they come with that bullshit. So this way you live. <laughs> OK, you little rock shit or whatever. <laughs> What's up? This is Chico Bean. Hey, I am Carlos Miller. And I'm DC Young Fly from the 85 South Show. Hey, when you're on the move and you can't check our show out on YouTube, you can still check us out on the Apple Podcast app, our Heart Radio app, or wherever you get your podcast. What about Spotify? Yep. Uh, Google Podcast? Absolutely. Alexa? Hell yeah! Hey, tune in every Friday. Listen and subscribe to the 85 South Show. It only makes sense. God damn it. Stupid motherfucker. <laughs> what the why, man? <laughs> Ma, I mean, but you, yeah, it need more people like you. <sighs> I think that's what keeps it going. That's what keeps it um, genuine and fun. Oh, yeah. Because if not, this shit, we all going to be in private school. Oh, once they let me in there, it's a, it's a motherfucking rap. I'm coming in with an obscure-ass role also. Okay. Lenny, the truck driver, <laughs> come through killing it on the white sitcom. I'll tell you another thing. Don't make that chili again. <laughs> <laughs> they always get a black character from my so you... lines in them white sitcoms. But I'm going to fuck them up. I'm telling you. If you could get a role, what would be like your role? What would be your introduction breakout role? My introduction breakout role. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, <laughs> call down at the motherfucking uh, sports authority or some shit like that. I okay. Need to, I need to be one of them reoccurring that get about two, three good shots a show. Okay. Yeah, call at the diner, the motherfucking cook at the Waffle House. So you want to, you want to, uh, would you do a serious role though? Man, a serious one? Yeah, but you, oh, would you I'd be, be somebody's real? alcoholic husband? <laughs> Hell yeah, narcissistic as fuck. Wait till they start casting toxic masculinity. Okay. So like a, uh, uh... Listen, bitch. What's that damn Don't show on Showtime? Me. Is it Showtime or Stars? Damn, I can't think of the name you of it. You hate me already. See? That's what I'm saying. Damn. <laughs> well, get it. What network? All of them. <laughs> I'd start at Lifetime. I would be... I would be... Three terrible motherfuckers in a row. You started lifetime, you're gonna have to play some serious, a real role. I'm telling like, you. Like shit that really happened. Exactly. Like the stuff you see on ATL Scoop. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> terrible motherfucker. Yeah. I'm talking about this thing like, I hate this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Series regular him, y'all. Hell yeah. I'm, I'm That'll coming. be dope. I'm be sending my tapes in and shit. Okay. Okay. Sometimes. Sometimes I'd be like, man, fuck it, whatever. You gotta see your tape in. I, I know, but I'll be busy. I'm a comedian. <laughs> I got a job. You can you a comedian first? <laughs> yeah, you don't have to do everything. I'm just <laughs> over here. When they need some comedians, I'll be over here. <laughs> Why don't you like would you do a um Well y'all had a live show. Would you do a sketch? Yeah. Like a uh What the fuck? Like an SNL? That's more like a uh, what is it? Uh, diff- nah, like not do some. I'll do some sketch comedy. <laughs> like a, oh, I was trying to not laugh. Um, I have my degree in sketches. I started that. No, what's the fucking show? It's an old show. They was trying to bring it back. Whose line is it anyway? With Jim Carrey? Yes. In living color. Yeah, I do some shit like that. You do some shit like yeah, that. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Why don't Why don't y'all make a, a Atlanta one where it's like? I know we did. <laughs> okay, bad. We got stuff. Big. We got stuff. Okay. You know, we, oh, the static. We can't talk about that. It's oh, a, yeah. oh, okay. <laughs> my bad. My bad. No, we we got some things okay. and some stuff. Okay. That we've been you know working on. I don't know about over here. Okay. 
Because I feel like it's, um, I seen this T-shirt. I think it said like Atlanta influences everything. It did. It does. It does, exactly. It does. So I feel like there's so, the if the world is going to change, Atlanta has to change it. You see what I'm saying? So if y'all, if there is some things to kind of get people back to laughter and fun and not being so uptight and so sensitive and so like, I have to belong here or here or there, here or here or here, or um, dogs are more than people, um, it's got to come through genuine feel-good content. That's why we make this show, because we don't, we already understand that people got their own problems, and we don't even make this show for yeah. everybody. This is a very target market right here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm for talking. ladies who get their nails done and bite the nails off. <laughs> <laughs> that would be me. Yeah, yeah. We know exactly who watched this That would be shit. me. <laughs> <laughs> This one right here specifically. Yes, sir. This podcast right here is for people who go to work, clock in, sit down first. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so who would be on your podcast is for like niggas that watch OnlyFans at 12, 6, and 6 30. Them the type <laughs> them the type of niggas that pee on the floor and get it up with their socks. <laughs> shit when you was a kid, huh? <laughs> I, I don't I guess. I mean, looking back, I wouldn't have kept me. <laughs> like, that's the test. If you can look back mm. at your childhood and be like, would I have kept me for a day? Fuck no. Oh, you wouldn't have babysit you? I thought you no. meant you would have had an abortion if you no. was pregnant oh, with you. You are so dark. I'm sorry. I, I meant like a babysit. I'm, I'm here already. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> no. so like if I was my own nephew, I would never spend no time with me. <laughs> you would neglect you? Yes. Damn. I deserved it. Okay. <laughs> I deserved it. I was terrible. I'm talking about I was a terrible little kid. I used to curse more than I curse now. Is do you do you feel people would keep your child? Hell no. No, he bad. No, on grandma only, bro. My son? Yes. Oh, my son ain't nothing like me. Okay. I was way worse than him. No, you said grandma only, like grandma only, like, as in that's the only person you trust, or grandma only is? I thought was, we were talking about my little bad ass. It was, like, it was only family. I didn't have nobody watching me. It was okay. Family only. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Terrible. Then after a certain point, they was just like, you so bad, stay here by yourself. And I was like, I will. <laughs> Early, too. Early. Oh, man. Yeah. Damn. Bad ass. I can see it. Terrible child. But it usually be the bad ass kids that end up being real successful. Why is that? Because you, you, shit, if you still alive, because <laughs> you can take that same bad ass energy and, and do some good shit with it. You're right. That's how this happened. Bad kids so, taking over. That's the case. They need to give a lot of motherfuckers in jail. I, uh, that's too far. Oh, okay. That's too far. <laughs> Don't give them shit. No, okay. No. I'm just saying. That's I'm the thinking. beautiful thing about you them. You don't have to get them shit and they'll make refocus some. Refocus and redirect. No. Yes. Nah. Maybe the non-violent offenders. But okay. I don't know. Maybe. Just maybe. Just maybe. So what else you got coming up? Um, the show that I'm working on now. It's, are you in production? <laughs> or is coming up? Well, we're rehearsing. Okay. Um, we don't actually start filming until the end of this month. All right. But it, my my addition to the cast hasn't been announced yet, so that's why I can't like okay. say it. So it's early. We in there early. This is an exclusive. Mm-hmm. I bet. <laughs> Good. Look, do your thing. Okay. Do your thing though. Don't spill the beat. Thank you. Thank don't you. The I'm not. But when I. Come on, man. Do your thing like you always yeah, do. Yeah, I'm excited. I really feel like um, my, addi my addition is like bringing the whole essence of Atlanta to the show. Yeah. Um, which is a great show. It's not missing anything. But I do think it will, you know, when people, when you want to join something, people be like, well, what can you bring for? When, when I was joining Delta, they were like, well, what? Why, why you? Because Delta's already great, so why do we need you? That's what they said. No, they didn't, but Shout I mean, out to the Delta. I didn't know that. I didn't know that shit was that hard. We already good. What the fuck you do? 
<laughs> um, uh, that's kind of like, I feel like the show is already really great and people yeah. already fuck with it. So it's more like, okay, well, why would we bring you on? And it was just like, shit, I'm gonna turn that bitch up a notch. Like, that's what you told me? Nah, him? but I feel like. Did you tell the devils that at least? Come on now. <laughs> what you tell the devils when they ask that? Um, what did I, damn, that was so long ago. You have to play ago. that off if somebody like, we already great, what you do? Like, uh, what I me, mean, yo? Like, I think I just said, you know. I ain't like, really, oh shit. Like, something like, y'all, 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 y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, y'all cool. <laughs> oh my God. When I start fucking with you, though? You get money fucking with me. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I mean, that's happening. I'm working on, I'm a writer, as you know, so. We're going to write it and producing some of my own things and really trying to get some shows I've developed, some films I've developed out there, picked up um, on some big platforms. So working the back end on that. And, you know, I, I'm trying to legitimize my nonprofit because I've been doing it for a few years, but I don't have none of the paperwork on it. So just trying to legitimize it so I can write some things off with it that I've already done. Um, we know some people. Y'all know some people? Did you know the Citizens Trust got a bank and it ran <laughs> by some black folks? <laughs> I have a Citizens Trust account. <laughs> yes. We know them people. We'll plug you in. Please. Hell yeah. Wait, you high? Are you serious? I'm dead the fuck okay. serious. They can hear and everything. <laughs> okay, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, I would like that. Um, I'm also trying to get a, loan, a home, so I've been talking to them. So, I know them. Don't worry about nothing. Okay, yeah, I've been yeah, writing yeah. some shit, too, in okay. cursive. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um, what else? Shit. You got a new boyfriend. We just had our anniversary today. One year. Who? He here? He's not here. I thought you pointed at somebody. No, I, like, I said I one. I said one, one, like oh, one year. Oh, I know like that one year. <laughs> <laughs> I know that nigga. Right, uh, we got an OnlyFans, so... No, I'm kidding. Stop I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. That'd be funny as hell, you, you know, OnlyFans. <laughs> come out as Wanda. Hey, what y'all doing? <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, our anniversary is today. That's dope. Yeah. Congratulations thank on that. You, How thank long you. it's been? One year. Oh, okay. So... All right, damn. But but no, it's like a good, it's like a great one year. Yeah. So like, we was living together after a month. For real? Like yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those things where like when you know you know shit was cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna drink it. No, it was cool. It was like. <laughs> That's the last shit I want to be there. Cool. <laughs> no, I mean, like... live with you because y'all cool. No, I mean, cool, like, fun, like a good time. Yeah, at, at... your house. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have fun. We're together. We, we don't need to have overnight fun. No, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Y'all was in that bitch like stepbrothers. We got so much room for activities. <laughs> got the bunk beds. <laughs> Groceries. Oh, God. We can eat fruit until we fucking hurt. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, oh, I got three, three out of five of my brothers have babies on the way with their wives. Oh wife. shit! Yeah. Your brother is capitalizing <laughs> on your success. My sister. <laughs> <laughs> they married. <laughs> you had to say that part too. I thought these were street babies. No, no, they wives. They wives. Okay. They wives. This is in the family, all right. Yes. Um, so the I'm mother two brothers like, he ain't lying. Yo, my little sister. <laughs> <laughs> ain't got no motherfucking wife. One well, of my yeah, brothers told me, together. when I meet Rihanna, he said, look, I'll I risk, I risk it all. And if he don't answer, call me. <laughs> call me. <laughs> OK. I got a whole, don't worry, I ain't even talking about it. OK. I'll just call you. For real. I feel like she's looking for me. I don't know why, but in my mind, <laughs> I be looking at all them pictures of her coming out the club. She just be looking like... <laughs> she looking like what, Los? Is Los out? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let me know. Let I me feel know. like I'm going to have to meet her two times, though. Like, the first time, I ain't going to really... It's going to take at least two times. But if she keeps seeing me, she's going to be like, you just don't give up, do you? And I'm going to be like, <laughs> Is that no. her accent? To me, in my okay. mind. That's how she sounds. <laughs> she sounded like Iranian. <laughs> in my mind. Slovakian. Yeah. 
Okay. But she from over there. Okay. Yeah. So what else? What, what's been up with you? With me? Shit. 85 South end. Okay. Um, okay. Um, Kat, you see I broke the, the fan shirt out because we about to get back on the road again. Okay. Okay. Where y'all first show gonna be at? Biloxi? Is it Biloxi? Where? Biloxi, what's that, Mississippi? It's Biloxi is Biloxi. That's the first one we can announce right now. Okay, yeah. <laughs> See, we, we, it's tentative as fuck. Okay, okay. But I'm excited. Okay. I know we're going to Biloxi. Do you sure. like being on the road more than in studio? Yes. You do? Yes. Why? Because on the road, we in and out. Okay. I might be in this bitch for four days. Okay. No, I'm just bullshit. Lot in the dungeon. No, I feel like this is so vital to the to the to the road though. Yeah. Cause this keep them informed and up to date. And yeah. Give a shit to talk about when they see us. They're like, nigga, when you yeah. had my uh, uh, one didn't know. <laughs> what? You should have told her I fought with her. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I shout out to everybody that fought me because people be going so hard for Wanda. Like, right. I'm telling you, the dude had one episode clean. Wanda, stay strong. Two episodes clean. We're rooting for you. It was like he had digitized my face on a protest poster. Yeah. Like, as if the crowd was marching for Wanda to stay clean. Yes. Like, they really be going hard. Um, yeah. And then the thing went viral of, like, crack Wanda and, like, Uncrack Wanda, but I was confused because I'm like, y'all niggas seen her in season two and season three, like pre crack. <laughs> so now y'all, everybody's like, as if I just became beautiful. Yeah, they fucking with you, man. But I appreciate I it. I see, hey, y'all, I saw a whole feed of Woman Crush Wednesday. <laughs> but ask Wanda, though. <laughs> <laughs> with the teeth and all? All that. Oh. She was doing this in one. Oh. <laughs> boy, y'all niggas is something else, boy. I gotta unfollow some more. Oh, folks. listen. With that makeup on my teeth. <laughs> and the fucked up part is people don't understand this Ooh. is TV. They really be like, I'm, I'm glad she getting us <laughs> together. They invested. <laughs> Have you ever ate spinach and then it's like a phlegm left on your teeth? Oh my God, I don't eat spinach. Oh, well. For the spinach eaters. <laughs> I don't know what it's like. Okay, never mind. I need to go. Don't worry. Don't ask me. My life is fucked up. Okay. And I don't want to corrupt you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna ask. I ain't no, gonna ask. I, I don't. Okay, we, we digress. Okay, so on the road. On the road. I want to say that I seen your show in person. For real? I told you earlier at the Fox. Yeah. Y'all motherfuckers is funny. Thank you. Like, y'all funny, you. but in person it's like, it's a different funny because you know that, okay, there's a show that they might have, like, talked about it some, planned it out. But then you guys also do a little shit that is not a part of the show where it's like y'all just going candy off the audience and stuff. Yeah, that's that's the most of it, man. Because a lot of those shows, people don't know. They always watch the intro. It's like, Craig will tell you, when we were backstage on the live show, nigga, a lot of them times we just got there. So uh -huh. there is no rehearsal. It ain't like oh. we getting together like five, six, seven, <laughs> eight, ten ass in the building. <laughs> this is, that's when you come in. You the singer. You 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 are the core of this. If you don't feel like singing it, we can't do it. I mean, Chico is on the baritone right now, and you know I'm just feeling. It. Let's take it from the top, man. Come on, we'll be here as long as it takes. Five, six, seven, eight. We got ten ladies in the building. Give me two more of those, and we can get out of here. Give me two more of those. That's all I'm asking. Two more. Two more. You gotta want this. So that's not happening. <laughs> All right, now let's do the steps with it. Five, <laughs> six, seven, eight. Ten eggs in the building. Point to the titty. Point! <laughs> fuck it, point! Is it too hard to point? <laughs> All right, I guess we'll just go on the stage and do whatever the fuck we want to do then. <laughs> just don't nobody want to rehearse. <laughs> mm. Motherfuckers want to be improv. great, but don't nobody want to rehearse. All improv. Craig. Come on, man. If you don't get the shot, <laughs> get across there. Don't fucking get across there. We need, if we're going to use the open, you got to get across there, Craig. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. Yeah. It's amazing. For Come those on. who haven't seen it, 
It's a must see. Like it's a different experience. It's Man. not. You know, you go, you go to a comedy show, and, and comedy shows are good. Sometimes you have motherfuckers who are not funny, you got motherfuckers that's hilarious, and then you got people that make you, like, smirk. But it's nonstop laughter, like, right. knock your socks off, like, hitting the motherfucker you came with. See, that's the difference. It's like, we're not going out there to be like, hey, we're comedians and we're funny. <laughs> like, dude, this is the family reunion. Can you believe this shit? Look who in this motherfucker, man. That's our other cousin who be wearing big shoes and shit. You feel what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, that's so what it's like. like it feel whole, like it. Yeah, the whole atmosphere is just like, you like know what family. I like to call it? It's like when you got your check and you cashed it. Oh. That feeling, right? I'm talking about that. Oh. That and the money look. is in your hand. Yes. And it's that extra check. Mmm. Oh, this that one that hit in the middle of the month. All mm. the bills and shit is paid. You ain't got no bill to pay. Yeah. That that check that fall on the 15th. Mmm. <laughs> mm. That's that's yeah. it. That's the one. Especially that money you get paid three times. <laughs> That's the whole experience. That's the vibe we're yeah. bringing, man. Just some happiness to the yeah. black community. They hate to see black people happy. Man. So we, we stay happy on their ass. I was riding in a tow truck the other day. What? Wait, hold on. Let me just yeah, digress you're before say, I... Yeah. <laughs> your story started over, too. <laughs> we digress. Okay, so... I was getting a massage, right? <laughs> With a happy ending. Okay, um... Happy beginning. <laughs> <laughs> And it was this black dude, Jamaican, from New York, well, from Jamaica, but by way of New York. Um, he was like, I don't like black people. Black men. He was like, no offense. I'm sorry if I offend you. I'm not trying to offend you. He was like, they're all just jealous and envious and evil. I was like, oh. Well, I mean, you're being very nice to me. Where did he get that from? I don't, he said he got a fleet of like 15 trucks, but he had bought him a new car, like a BMW or a Benz or something. He said all his drivers quit at once. I'm like, because you bought a new car? Like, that doesn't, something, you know. He people, didn't pay them and bought a new car. <laughs> must that's be. Because something that. didn't add up. But he said he had been treating them well, but he said people be jealous. He said the only people that have ever helped him are not black people. It's I said, fun. well, you're helping me right now. Because he, he was calling my, you too, though. No, no, I was AAA. Uh. But AAA said um, with COVID and everything, you can't ride in the truck with the driver to the location. And um, he let me ride. So I was like, I didn't have to take a lift. Uh, you let me ride it. He was like, well, how much was your lift to the vehicle? <laughs> I said $34. He was like, if you would have gave me $30, I would have came and got you. It's like, well, you're, we're here now, and now we're just going to the Volvo place, so can I ride with you? And he was like, yeah. But that just, that came out of nowhere, but it just made me think of how some people are like black people are, some black people feel like black folks is not good people. That well, we're let me tell with. those people this. All those people who think black people are envious and lazy and jealous, they never factor in <laughs> how much black people really and truly don't give a fuck about what you got going on. <laughs> you really think somebody is out here worried about your little fucking BMW? Man, fuck you. <laughs> and everybody who looks like you, 99% of black people don't give a shit about everybody else. That's a fact. <laughs> Cause I don't give a fuck what you got going on. I don't. Fuck these people. Fuck these people. Fuck them. Yeah. Fuck them. Big. Yeah. Fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> that part. Yeah, man. So people yeah, what are else? Funny. What else? Mm -hmm. The world slowly opening back up. Are you still on Wild Now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they gon' they gonna suffer. Cause I'm gonna be there forever. <laughs> and ever. I'm gonna be 79. Wildin'. 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 Okay. Give me your leg. Let, 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 let me my leg. Give me a <laughs> I, I, um, you got insurance? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be on there okay. forever. Should've um, never put me on there. Now they stuck with me. Let me say what else I wanted to know. What else? I already got the background on how. 85 South came together. Yeah. It was, a, uh, it was raining one night, and we was like, we should, we should take advantage of this. And then thunder struck real hard, and I was like, nigga, I just discovered electricity. That was Benjamin Franklin. OK. <laughs> now, nah, we needed this platform because, you know, me, Chico, and DC, we some very creative dudes, and we can't, sometimes we can't get it all out on stage. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, Even yeah, after yeah. a long weekend of shows, man, we still have. A lot of shit to say. And it's a lot necessary. Of ways, so. And then 
I feel like it's good because, like you said, it's like family. Like when people yeah. watch the show live or virtual, it, you just feel good. Like it's, it's one of the things you, you don't have like Martin and stuff no more. You don't have the Wayans brothers. You don't yeah. have like some of the shows we used to go home as a family and watch and you come home, you unwind, you eat dinner. So it's something <clears> to like <throat> unwind, to like chill. People who yeah. smoke, smoke they blunt, people who drink. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. It's, it's the ghetto TV station, man. Mm -hmm. We needed this platform though, because it's addictive when you start creating media. Mm -hmm. I mean, the people be like, nigga, that's my favorite episode, fuck it. I mean, they, they show them, they be smoking the blunt, and then the blunt be like, bend a little bit. I mean, uh -huh. that's some real shit. What's your favorite episode? Of this show? Yes. All of them. Oh, that was a good end. Who the fuck go to? Because we got some episodes of this show that just the mention of them will make me start crying laughing. Like, we did this live show in San Antonio, and we were mm -hmm. doing this song called Them Titties Is Mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you remember? That's memorable. Okay. She, and the one where she's confident, yeah, that's right. She tucked her stomach down in them tights. <laughs> the meth head. Yeah. The, the meth head lady from that Oklahoma. That is memorable. Uh, wheelchair man. Wheelchair man in every episode. <laughs> Motherfucking uh, DC passes now. It's two. Like, uh, it's like every week is something else, man. I can't pick no favorite episode. Okay, okay. Hell yeah, we had Buster Rhymes in here. Chico rapped the whole Buster Rhymes verse. <laughs> Hell yeah. What is uh, Shanika Adams, I won. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Man, we had some. We done had some classic episodes on this motherfucker, man. Okay, okay. Real. Nigga win. So that means. The blow up dog. When y'all hit like a five year, ten year, y'all gonna have to do something like crazy. Shit, it's been six years. Well, ten years. When you hit a ten year. Man, that's the thing about it. Shit, we just gonna have the fans do it. They post so many clips and shit, little shit that we yeah. might have forgot about. And that's what really, like, that's the dope You remember the very first show? The very first one in Smith's Old Bar. Yep. That was our very first live show. We had some. Okay, dope so. Dope then, ass shows up in there. Did you know then, like when y'all was, when 85 South Show was a conversation, did you know it would be what it is now? Man, you got to go back and ask these niggas, like go back to the first episode. I've been told them niggas this, this shit was gonna be. Exactly. <laughs> that's what you said. It's gonna be Michael yeah. B. Jordan. Nah, we was talking about. Oh, uh -huh. that's okay. what. That's from the first episode. Okay, okay. Man, he had Block DC. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> he blocked DC, huh? Yeah, he blocked DC. Why? Um, <laughs> I think they dated the same girl. Oh, like years ago? Or like the current? Like this was recent? I'm confused, help this, me. I, he well, dated Lori Harvey? No. Nah. What? <laughs> <laughs> DC used to date Lori? No, nah, I mean, I think it was, I don't know. I can't <laughs> That's a nigga, I can't tell you that. I don't know. <laughs> Him and these things, it was a woman's fault. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Michael B. Jordan got mad, and <laughs> DC was never mad. He, it was him. So that's what I remember. Okay. But yeah, I've been telling them since before we even recorded that shit that this shit could be exactly this. Okay. That's how we started doing that this is who the podcast is for. Because niggas were like, Nick, what is a podcast? I was like, Nick. <laughs> Fuck that. This a ghetto podcast. <laughs> this is for bitches named Tasha who can sing but don't sing in front of people. Like, okay, the shower singer. Exactly. Got it. Mm -hmm. She want to do an album, but ain't nobody never heard her sing. But she can sing. Okay. It's she cool. like that. It's okay, this is for them. Hell this yeah. is for them. And Marvin Gaye been here the whole time. Okay. We got our... Um, Since episode one. That plaque is old as fuck. We just put it up there because a lot of people ain't got it. They owe us 10, <laughs> 10 more of them. Cause we got like damn near two million subscribers. They gonna send us a golden goose or something. <laughs> Hell yeah, talk to them, man. Tell them where to find you and all that uh, shit. Cause it's a lot of motherfuckers. And they gonna be like, hey, that little relationship shit. I'm finna slide them DMs. <laughs> you better check them. Cause they gonna, uh, it's gonna be like hashtag 85 percent. Um, let's see. Gail Bean on everything. I forgot cause I had just recently changed my Instagram. Why? That's a whole. So I didn't really give a fuck about the whole verification thing. Yeah. And um, the blue check thing, because I was like, I mean, I don't. That's just, I'm not really, I mean. Okay. So. Okay. My See, they're going to fuck like, around no, and get you, you and then they're going to be like, DM me for promo 
hit this email, send a deposit. No, you're like, I ain't doing that shit. Booking shit. No. No, it ain't gonna be you. Oh. It's a lot of fakes. I got a hundred fake pages and I ain't shit. Oh shit. Yeah, somebody gonna make a Wanda page. Oh. Look, book me for the party. <laughs> send deposit, cash app. I'm telling you. Oh shit. Wait I till hope them not. fake pages though. You need to go. Well, I got it now. Right, so that bet. was the thing. If my name used to be one thing, and then my publicist kept saying, no, you need to change your name in order to get verified. And I was like, well, I don't really give a fuck about being verified. I just really, I'm the worker, the um, I just want to work. So I'm like, I just want to fucking, I don't want to have to do publicity. I don't want to have to show up to events and shit. You got to do all that shit. Yeah. That's part of the game. So that's what she was like, no, I need you. When it comes to like an Emmy campaign or this campaign, with pushing you, I need you to be verified. So I was like, all right, fine, fuck it. I changed my name. So now my Instagram name is Gail, G-A-I-L, underscore, underscore, Bean, B-E-A-N. All right, can I ask you a question as a lady? Yes. It's been a lot Wait, of controversy. As a lady, okay, go ahead. It's been a lot of controversy uh, about women wearing bonnets in public. Okay. Monique said some shit. What'd she say? She said that the shit looked ghetto okay. and some more things. A lot of shit look ghetto, but... I know, Okay, but, keep going. And then... But I do love Monique, keep going. Some, some people like she right. Okay. Some people like she wrong. Okay. I mean, as a nigga, I don't got no opinion about it. Niggas will still holler a girl that got on a bonnet. It dep- it's all about that booty. Listen, I would have on a... <laughs> if she got on a bonnet and a fat ass booty, <laughs> nigga like, fuck what's under that bonnet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you're asking me, do I think bonnets are ghetto? No, I'm just asking, do you have an opinion either way? Where have been the airport? Right. That's what started it. It was a picture of a group of ladies and who knows where they were going. Well, I mean, to be honest, like we talked about earlier, I don't really give a fuck what another person do. That's what. So, that's a great stance to have. I don't care. I got a fucking bonnet. Do I wear it out? No. But do I care if another bitch wear it out? No. I mean, I don't care. Just to, that's not something that that bothers me. Yeah. Yeah. Like, what bothers me is shit that really affect me. Like, going somewhere to get my hair done and motherfuckers is like, come with it, wash, blow dry, uh, braid it. Like, that annoys me. You, you're too big of a star to even be dealing with them. Yeah. Oh, I don't have that. I'm just, but I be seeing it, and I, I've, I've experienced it one time. And I was like, oh, I ain't never fucking come back to you. Never. You can die. Oh, don't. <laughs> damn. <laughs> yeah. God, damn. All right. All right. Oh, so. <laughs> it's, it's ironic because. Hold on. Hold on, Gail. Can you repeat the question on the camera so we can get it? <laughs> oh, when I first met Damson Idris, who plays Franklin Saint on Snowfall, um, he's British, he a Brit. Uh, I did not know he wasn't American. When we were in the Vanity trailer, he, he like loves comedy, so he does a lot of like um, impersonation. Yeah. Yes, like heavy impersonation of comedic stuff. Um, so I still didn't know. It wasn't until, like, I think I was already filming Snowfall. Maybe we had rapped where I heard him talk one time. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> this nigga is not a nigga. Like, <laughs> where you from? Um, and I think I asked him, I was like, where are you from? And we didn't really talk much season two. So it probably had to be either after season two or maybe on season three where I had the conversation with him and I was just like, you know, where are you from? But that shit blew me. Like, I, cause he's so black. Like. That shit'll throw you off. Yeah. Some, yeah like, like, I mean, I know people is black world. as fuck from wherever, but just nothing, if you look at him, nothing reads Brit. You know what I'm saying? Like, not, the way I see him, not the way he dressed, not his hair, not, not nothing gave any indicator. You know what I'm saying? You, when you meet some people, sometimes there's some indicators about them. Like, oh, you got a little, you got a little candle roll dust on you. You know what I'm saying? Like something, not from a negative kind of sense, but something that tells you where they from. Right. Yeah, he didn't have that. <laughs> <laughs> he left that shit at the airport. Exactly. He was so, like, I'm over here. Yeah, me. that was different. Um, yeah. So we're really looking forward to seeing you on this new project. And, mm. and if you need us for anything, or, Promo, keep doing your thing. Yes. We know all the accolades and awards are coming. Uh, listen, it's different. I'm, a, I'm, I will say I'm a little nervous. It's coming because it's this new role is very. It's challenging to me. People are like, "Oh, you're gonna eat it," but no, it's challenging because it's different and it's. 
I feel like everybody gonna be watching. And yeah. I feel like the city is riding on this. Because I think I'm the only one on the show from Atlanta. You so. gotta do it then. You gotta do it. Yeah, it's, um, but yeah, I'm gonna let you know. It's gonna be crazy. I got one last question. Yes. He's, I told you, he a big fan. Shout out uh, to Cat. He got them shorts on today, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to ask you about John Siegel to get him or to meet him before he passed, and then you tell us something about him. Okay. Yes, John Singleton is a legend. I was able to meet him. I was able to meet John before he passed. Um, John is one of those people, well, let me back up. I met John, I wanna say, in 2012 here in Atlanta. He came to my acting class, because him and my teacher at the time were really close. Um, he spoke life into us, just gave us some gems and heads up about the industry, about being black um, in the industry. And it was just divine how years later I ended up on the show. Right. Now, he only directs the finale episode, so when he died during season three, uh, they had to step in and have a replacement. I think um, maybe somewhere a little bit of vision got lost in that episode. That's why some people were confused about what it was when really it was like a parallel universe of what if Damson, sorry, what if Franklin never sold drugs? and how that whole thing would have came around. But I, I know some people kind of was confused, like, are you pregnant? Is this like after or before? <laughs> I'm like, no, this is if it never would have happened. But um, he was just like, if you told me you wanted to go be a, if you told me you wanted to go be an astronaut on the moon, he would say, how can he help? Like, do that. He would speak life into you like you can. Um, let me know some plans, what are some of the steps? Like, he was invested, he listened. So few people in the industry actually listened and are genuine and authentic when it's like, oh, how can I help you? Right. Um, what do you need? Tell me more. That's very rare. So he was one of those. Uh, he definitely, so LA. So LA. <laughs> uh, loved LA, loved his people. Um, just a great guy, like just being in his space. And he's very excited, like about what's going on, what he's working on. So. I used to tell, when Man Boy first came on the show, shout out to Melvin Gray, he came... He been putting it down for a minute. He been putting it out, work. Shout out to Melvin. He been putting it work. Yeah. Um, the internet, man. When he came, I was like giving him the lay... We got the same publicist. I was giving him the lay of the land, and I was like, if you want any information on what's going to happen to your character or the storyline, just go sit and talk to John for a few, and he'll get excited. He'll end up telling you some shit that he's not supposed to tell you about your character and about the storyline because he's that excited where he just get to talk, and he'll be like, don't... get touch him, and be like, don't tell nobody. Don't tell nobody this, okay? Don't, don't, don't tell nobody. So he was just... He was just great, funny, excited, and he was there every day. Even though he only directed the finale episode, he was on set every single day watching, seeing what's going on. Um, just happy, just happy. Even this long in the industry, still just happy, still like not tainted. Still excited about mm -hmm. it. Well, that's dope, man. Rest in peace to the legend. Mm -hmm. And salute to the future legend. Thank you. You know where we at. From one to one. Hey, take be, one to no one. Don't let this be your last time in the trap. I went wrong. Well, listen, after this next project, I'm going to come here and Keep just back. turn this motherfucker up. Yeah, uh -uh. Yeah. <laughs> well, there you have it, folks. This has been another rendition mm -hmm. of the 85 South Show. Yes. Give me. Thank you. Love you, girl. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, oh. <laughs> Let's get a this picture. This was great. This was dope. You. Huh. <laughs> when did when did motherfuckers start throwing up the peace sign? Like, cause I know back Shit, when Freak Meek, your Freak Meek niggas was not hitting peace. Shit, when when the streets got rough, <laughs> 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 nigga, that's, that's the first thing we need some peace niggas around this. Niggas was not group. throwing up the peace sign during Freak Meek. Shit, they was holding titties and shit. <laughs>